illustration is for all those fur parents who are going to draw this for their little furry babies and we are going to illustrate this in just first step using Autodesk sketchbook app. We are going to start off with a screen resolution of 2080 into 2860 and we are starting off with painting the sky. This is always one of the most basic and the easiest step for me because you just have to add few shades of color and then we are going to blend across and we will be done with the new layer. We will be starting off with a blank canvas at the same time by the end of this illustration you will have so much of joy and pleasant pressure because you have created something out of nowhere for your fur babies. We are going to use a coarse watercolor to add the color and for blending we are going to use blending brush from artist column and then we are going to slowly blend from the darkest to the lightest shade. However, I have not introduced myself so far. Welcome back to our channel and here I'm your illustrator, content creator, podcaster for this channel named Rena. So thank you so much for joining and we are almost at the end of painting the sky and once done we are going to add my favorite painting the clouds. Also for this I have added a new layer. I'm starting with the base layer and then adding a few highlight in a new layer and then adding more shadow more highlight in a circular form and once we are done we are going to use a wash brush from artist column. Make sure to uh, adjust the size flow and strength of the brush based on your stylus you are going to use. I'm slowly blending, blending it across in a circular way. Once I'm done with the base of the sky I'm adjusting the size of it. Then I'm going to add few more smudges on the edge making it look like a fluffy cloud at a distance and also we are making sure that that cloud is blending with our sky layer so if you look on the right side there is a lot of layer for the cloud layer itself also i'm going to add a uh, highlight of the sun here and then i'm slowly blending it using our wash brush so all this concept is just to make sure that you're watching this beautiful sunset and you watch this a uh, few two of your fur babies floating in the boat and i think this is most significant most of the time it's going to be couple but i thought these are few moments which we need to capture and so i thought why not add our fur babies as our main object of this illustration once i'm then blending it across i'm going to blend it with the sky layer and if you look on the right side i still make sure that all those layers are available rather than blending it merging it all together then i'm going to add a highlight and then slowly blending it across to give those fluffy highlights to our cloud for me the sky layer itself took me around 10 minutes so make sure to use your sweet time because these are all in 4x speed and then we are just making this illustration save more of your time so that it's much easier also there are so much of images and so shared with me on instagram and i highly appreciate for all of your efforts doing it it's just a practice which makes you bring the best in you and for me painting cloud is something which i always emphasize on or i enjoyed in so i have added a new layer to add the grass layer or tea layer at the distance i have used camo brush to add those objects and then i'm using wash brush to slowly smudge across from inside to outside so at the same time if you look i'm slowly making it more pressure on the outside to make it look like a tree at a distance and then we are almost done with full illustration for the rest we are just going to copy paste and repeat for me i'm also going to do with the same with adding few more a stroke of plant at a distance or flower at a distance and I'm just using one brush here camo brush to add the grass and then I'm just dabbing it around to add the highlight once I'm done adding the grass I'm just going to bring in few more uh, edges or few more dab of grasses around and once done I'm going to use multiple color to add those tiny bit of flower starting with I'm going to add few of a yellow white and also then I kept on adding for some more pink layer and then once we are done also all this thing is based on the size of the brush you are going to use so make sure you slowly adjust your brush based on your stylus or your pencil apple pencil you're using once you are done adding this tiny cute flower we are almost done with the entire illustration and then we are just going to add a new layer to copy paste invert the sky layer then we are going to do the same for our cloud layer this is copy paste invert and then we are going to do the same for the above grass layer 
copy paste in with and reduce the opacity of it once we are done doing this i'm going to use hairbrush from artist column to slowly give a little stroke making it look like it is in the river and also we want to have that moment in the river see we are almost done with the illustration the last bit is definitely our show topper which is our fur babies our cat and a dog you can name it whatever you want i'm definitely going to name it tom and tommy do you like the name tom is the cat name tommy is our dog name so i'm just going to add those few strokes here and there to make it look like a wavy structure in the river or a wind is slowly blowing in the river and making it create those current in it so once we are done adding i'm going to add a shadow to our river so that it looks like a shadow based and then i'm just adding few more darker shade yes i'm happy how this has already turned into one of the masterpiece you can stop here otherwise you can continue doing for the other rest so i'm just going to add a new boat and then for the boat we are going to add a few more strokes and we'll be done so i'm just using a darker shade of brown using the fountain pen and then slowly filling it along with few more darker brown shade and then a few more light shade and then i'm just going to use a blending brush to blend it across and also make sure to use your sweet time because these are in 4x speed and for me it is much easier because i've been doing it for over five years and also i kind of give a lot of time before illustrating all this thing I'm just going to add the shadow to the board by using flow airbrush and using a darker shade of black to slowly add and then we are just going to copy and paste this new layer in beneath layer and then slowly reduce the opacity of it and smudge it across using our hairbrush to make it look like more like a boat or a I think this is both definitely a fur boat we could go with and i'm starting off with a cat with just two big circle one small circle one big circle and one tile and two horny devil just don't be afraid of here just make sure it, it takes a little bit of time okay once i'm done adding the outline of it i'm going to use our wash brush to slowly give those uh, uh, edgy edge into a smoother edge to make it look like our fur animal here and then also i'm making it look like it is more of a scottish uh, breed of cat here and then i'm just going to add those edges smooth in our tail itself for the dog i i went with a symmetry option because i felt like this would give more of a realistic look and then i'm just using my free hand to illustrate this using a fountain pen then i'm going to fill the entire layer of course you will see two tail but i'm going to erase one of it as we go into placing them in the boat so once i'm done we are almost done with the illustration hope you guys have enjoyed this illustration so far or you have enjoyed the entire illustration let me know in the comment below of course there are a lot of requests in the pipeline if you have any more you can definitely comment down i will be happy to create a new one because i love challenges why not and then we are doing slow uh, I'm just like I said I'm going to add few shade of pink flower also because I feel like something is missing and once then we are going to add fireflies using the glow neon pen hope you guys have enjoyed the install station if you are new here make sure to click the subscribe button down below if you are existing one thank you so much for being a subscriber of this channel it means a lot to me and also make sure to share it among your artist friend because it will be helpful for them and if you have not yet subscribed to our weekly newsletter it's a free newsletter from my inbox to yours where i share my weekly knowledge i have learned and making it more emphasized on what we are what we should do for upcoming week also if you have not yet listened to my podcast you should definitely give it a go because it's something where i talk about the art of life in a full way Hope you have enjoyed this entire bit and see you all tomorrow. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.